The Bible is often sought after for its uplifting words during challenging times, particularly when seeking solace and rejuvenation. In moments of illness or when in search of consolation, its passages can offer profound encouragement. It's during these trying periods that we yearn for a strength greater than our own. Recognizing this, we have compiled a collection of 45 verses from the Bible that focus on healing, providing a source of comfort and fortitude. Each of these impactful verses, though brief, is imbued with insight to bring solace to those ailing and to inspire prayers for recovery from physical conditions, emotional wounds, and beyond. For instance, the Old Testament offers comfort through Isaiah 41 verse 10, which assures, I fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will give you strength and assist you. I will support you with my righteous right hand. Meanwhile, the New Testament recounts instances of Jesus providing healing for various maladies and afflictions as he spread the gospel during his travels. Here are Bible verses about healing. Once you've reviewed all the aforementioned verses, revisit them once more. This time, after reading each passage, pause and close your eyes, reflecting in prayer on the divine assurance or directive you've just contemplated. Continue this practice, repeating the process as needed, until you feel yourself drifting into slumber. Wishing you a peaceful night and pleasant dreams. Jeremiah 33 verse 6. She nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 3. Appraise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Deuteronomy 32 verse 39. A see now that I myself am he. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal, and no one can deliver out of my hand. Isaiah 58 verse 8. And then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Exodus 15 verse 26. He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, who heals you. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 5. As surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 38 verse 16. Ye Lord, by such things people live, and my spirit finds life in them too. You restored me to health and let me live. Psalm 107 verses 19 to 20. A then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, he rescued them from the grave. Mark 5 verse 34. A he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Matthew 10 verse 1. A Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. Psalm 6 verse 2. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. Psalm 41 verse 3. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Proverbs 16 verse 24. She gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Psalm 34 verse 18. A the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Wisdom of Solomon 16 12. If it wasn't any herb or ointment that healed them but your word alone, Lord, which heals everything. Psalm 23 verse 4. She, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Malachi 4 verse 2. Uh, but for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. Psalm 73 verse 26. Sh my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. John 14 verse 27. A peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. James 5 verse 16. I therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Isaiah 33 verse 2. Ye Lord, be gracious to us, we long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Psalm 1 19 verse 50. A this is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. Philippians 4 verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Proverbs 17 verse 22. A healing heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 4 verses 20 to 22. My son, give attention to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. James 5 verse 14. There is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. Psalms 146 verse 8. As the Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord lifts up those who are bowed down, the Lord loves the righteous. Exodus 23 verse 25. You worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Isaiah 41 verse 10. If so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 3 John 1 verse 2. A dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. Revelation 21 verse 4. A he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. 2 Kings 20 verse 5. A the is what the Lord, the God of your father David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. Jeremiah 17 verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Luke 6 verse 19. And the people all tried to touch him, because power was coming from him and healing them all. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Isaiah 38 verse 17. As surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind your back. Isaiah 57 verses 18 to 19. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them, I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. 1 Peter 2 verse 24. A he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness, by his wounds you have been healed. Matthew 11 verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Isaiah 40 verse 29. A he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Psalms 107 verses 20 to 21. He sent out his word and healed them, he rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Psalm 147 verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Matthew 9 verse 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. Mark 5 verse 34. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Psalm 30 verse 2. A Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. Once you've reviewed all the aforementioned verses, revisit them once more. This time, after reading each passage, pause and close your eyes, reflecting in prayer on the divine assurance or directive you've just contemplated. Continue this practice, repeating the process as needed until you feel yourself drifting into slumber. Wishing you a peaceful night and pleasant dreams.
Prayerfully meditating on these encouraging Bible verses about healing for comfort and strength will bring a divine light and peace to your soul, a disposition that is sure to bring you even closer to God and His special healing graces. Please share this list with anyone who may be in need of healing today and let us know in the comment section below how we can be praying for you.